That's why he closed out the game. But oh, is Guy Guy movement. ready for Melly? Can he even get in? I mean, if he can. This, this is the Brawler versus the Zoner. Yep, but you've got Fireball that forces Bite you to stay grounded, as we just saw Zare blocks out this Plunger, so Luigi has tools to disrupt the zone of control, but he is also floaty. He does get caught by the Chain Whips easily, and he doesn't have great tools to get around Axe with, so it really is a question of, I think, you take the first stock, I think you're kind of golden. If you're Guy Guy, if you don't, well, then it might get a little scary. Well, Guy Guy's more used to playing from behind. Melee, not as comfortable as we saw against Jen. But, you know, this is what you were talking about, right? This is the zone, the range game that Melly can play here on a small stage. You might say, well, he's a zone room. Doesn't he want a big stage? No, he wants to keep you locked down within the amount of space you're afraid of. Right here on Smashville, you don't have room to get away from Melly. Yeah, but no room to get away from Guy Guy if he gets in. But that's okay, right? That high center plat, you know, you don't get horse, long horizontal strings because the stage is short. You don't get vertical strings because of the plat, and so it's a little awkward to combo here. Guy Guy, though, getting caught out by that Holy Fire, gonna lose the stock, and now it is potentially just gonna find the stock. Yes, up till Jump Punch, man, the classic. No, it's just gonna be like this the entire set. Like, who can really find that first hit? And then over here isn't gonna want to extend, throwing the cross away, trying to bait something happening. Ooh. Every even interaction though is so disadvantageous for Melly because these fireballs, these plungers, right, disrupt you from even having the opportunity to get set up in the first place, Swiss Rider. And that is, you know, Melly needs to already be set up to really feel comfortable here in this matchup. Guy Guy finding ways in, finding ways to make him uncomfortable. And that's why you're seeing so many times where Melly just doesn't even throw out a blood and he just runs away, resets. But a lot of these MT hops coming out too, and the misfire oh. gonna kill him! Oh right. no! Guy Guy wasn't feeling that one. Hey, the misfire giveth, the misfire taketh away. That's right. But you know what? Well, all Guy Guy needs is one grab because it forces Melly to make the first move afterwards. If he can find one. Oh, okay. Nice little crouch underneath the whip. Yeah, you just again, right? Both these players are playing so heads up against each other. Great spacing from Guy Guy there to force the self hit on that Holy Fire. And now Melly just not able to close out the tipper. The slight drift mix up, all that Guy Guy needs to hold on to this one. Okay, Guy Guy not really going in, pressing advantage instead, just wants to reset back on ledge, but this is really where you want to be against Melly. Not at all, Swiss. Like one of the best ledge trappers in the game, and one of the best tra ledge trappers in New York, as their pilot is a terrifying position to be caught in ledge against. But Guy Guy just built different and gonna find his way out. Did he not just try and cry from the, the axe, axe, though? Yeah, he did. All right, I mean, hey, hey, you know, in those situations, you just gotta see. Maybe, just maybe, all of my atoms will pass through the axe's atoms, hey, and I will come out unscathed. Listen, you know what Barry Allen does, my friend. He phases up the frequency of air, and then he can just swing his hand through anything. <laughs> right? Because. What's the quote? Right? You, you, you need to vibrate your molecules at the frequency of air so that if you do so, your particles, your cells enter a state of excitement to the point where you should just be able to, well, phase Look, the I'm, wall. Look, I'm excited just to see these two play again. Sorry, I'm, I'm so quoting a TV show right now. No, good. I'm glad you caught on to that. <laughs> and here we go. Got some good pressure there on the monoplants. A guy guy unscathed here. Smelly already 74%. Oh, try to go for the super punch again. Didn't happen. Uh, Melly right, do such a good job throwing at these webs just to control the space. Right, some of them are swung at Guy Guy to make you hit, but some are also swung above his head or in front of him just to say, "Don't you dare step there when I don't want you to." It's all about what you do in between your buttons that hit with a character like Belmont that relies so heavily on establishing the zone of control to make sure that when they draw the line in the chalk, that you don't cross it. Line with the chalk. Oh, okay. Line in the sand. Well, it's not very sandy here in, uh, on Smashville. I don't yeah. like to tell you. Manhattan doesn't have a beach just yet. One yes, day. it does. No, it doesn't. Does it not? No, no, no. Not they're working long? on it. Oh. Don't but, worry. I'll be there on opening day to be like, man, this is smaller than I imagined. Anyway, for you know, for an island, it's got a surprisingly little amount of beaches, but you know what? We don't have a little amount of Swiss. Great Smash Ultimate here at Xeno tonight, because Melly and Guy Guy are showing you yet another banger, as Melly looking for that rematch, right, from Winner's Finals, now two stocks away.
Now, Guy Guy, that first stock was trying to do something a little more, you know, differently, I would say. Trying to kind of walk up, shield their way through. And it was working out, at least for like the first 30 seconds. But now Guy Guy is just trying to force their way through. And I can see just the difference of pace here. Melee is doing a good job of just punishing all their mistakes. The pressure that up air was so smart because it rises, you still have full control over your drift. So Guy Guy is saying, oh, you're not going to jump. I'm going to drift it away, miss your shield. You're going to think you're going to get the hit lag on shield and be safe. No, I'm going to catch your shield drop off. Insane heads up play again from Guy Guy right in the smallest of situations to find just a huge advantage state. Now had the up tilt jump punch, but just didn't opt to go for it. So instead gets caught in his own reversal for trying to just reset the situation and Melly gonna take the opportunity hand of him. And that's exactly what Guy needs to do. He needs to force Melly to choose an option and then react. But well, that's not the option he meant to force. Nah, nah. But it was a good option Melly took. Yeah, it was. And that's why he took the stock too, right? Up tilt with DI, no. drift off that Melly, gonna hold on for dear life, Swiss Rider. Now, Guy Guy on his last stock of Xeno 335. What can he make happen? Well, right now he's standing under the platform. He just needs a grab. Maybe a back air? Back air would take it here. Yeah, uh, or maybe even just a back throw, right? He's a nearing percent, obviously up special, right? So if you hit his shield, you just die. Any old edge guard. But just so far, Melly has played so patiently, and you can see Guy Guy getting a little desperate for it. Yeah, he's leaning in just a little bit. Finally finds that back air. This is anybody's game right now. Yes. This is even. Swiss, until you get that rate or that percent here on Melly. Now it's 70% range. That zero to death is still true. I believe it's not at max. However, you still a little bit. I, I can see trying to, to force their way through that little holy water with the tornado. Oh, manages to clash with the axe. Very yeah. fortunate. However, the jump over, Guy Guy knows. You can see these air dodges. He's trying to get down without a hit because he knows the incidental damage is terrifying. Looking for any opening to find a grab, find a nair or down air, anything that can get the zero to death started. But Melly just saying, no, you got to do it the old fashioned way. And Guy Guy not wanting to might be pricing himself out of a game three. Oh no. Guy Guy, just get back on, hit him. Anything. Don't get zero to death. Uh, well, he, uh, Happens he, to the best of us. He didn't get zero to death, but he also did not hit his opponent. Yeah. You know what they say? It's like Price is Right, right? You have to get as close as you can without going above. However, Guy Guy guessed a little too hard on what was required, right? Went above and beyond what was required of him to win the set, and so he, he unfortunately just didn't get an opportunity to close it out, as it goes sometimes. Yeah, you know, Guy Guy was the guy who was like, I'm gonna choose one dollar. Melee was like, I'm gonna be two dollars. And then he just won. And well, I was gonna say, it's, it's more like Melly chose like it was sixteen dollars, and Guy Guy just picked a thousand bucks for some reason. <laughs> it's <laughs> and, way too and it was like And it was like a hundred dollars. You know, oh, it was like two hundred dollars. Like, well, you know, I have no idea what the prize pool is today, but, but uh, hopefully it'll be a little nice uh, dent in that rent. But Grand Finals, Jen versus Melly.